Einstein explained that time is an interval between two events just as distance is an interval between two points in space. At point A, there is no distance. Right? How do you measure time from the event of you coming in to the event of you going out? But some of you had no event this and that you call as sleep. How long you slept, can you tell? The clock shows movement, that's why. Hmm? Between two events, hmm? the interval between two events is what we measure as time. Our rishis went forward to say that no event is possible without an experience and the word time is the interval between two experiences and no experiences without thought and therefore time is an interval between two thoughts. That's why when your mind is too agitated your biological time is going very fast but the clock doesn't seem to move. And when your mind is quiet, less thought, larger intervals between your thoughts. The outside clock seems to be moving fast. Hurry! Hurry! Time over! Hmm? That's why time is also relative because it's the interval between two thoughts. Slow down your thoughts. Eons can pass in a second. So time is an interval between two thoughts. Hmm? Which means time was born when? Not in the first event or the first thought. Time was born on the second thought. Hmm? That's why the first unit of time is what? Not first, second. Because time is not first. Hmm? Time is second. When it says Purana means what? Hmm? What was there? Before time was the first thought. And what was that even before the first thought? Can any thought be without you being conscious of it? If thought cannot be without you being conscious of it, nor can time be without you being conscious of it. And this consciousness is Purana ancient, before time, and therefore unconditioned by 